All right, tonight's target is the Andromeda Galaxy, the famous galaxy that everybody knows in the night sky. One of the biggest ones, well, one of the closest ones, closest to the Milky Way. Last year, I did this galaxy two different times. My first time, I didn't get enough data, so it didn't come out that clear. The video's on YouTube, so I tried it again with a little bit more data, and actually it came out pretty good, I'm thinking, but I still saw some flaws as far as my background. I can see some dots and things like that, so... I said, it's been about a year. Let me try it again. Same exact position as the camera and all that. I want to see how better I can make it look with my post-processing skills with PixInsight. And plus, as last year, after I got everything completed, I deleted all my data. I just kept the original, the final image, and I didn't keep any of my um, actual raw data where I can go back and reprocess it. But now, actually, I back up all my data now so I can go back and add to it a reprocess. But So last night, I did about uh, six and a half hours. I got uh, luminance red and a little bit of green done and then the fall came in around 4 30 everything aborted so tonight it's supposed to be clear to about maybe three o'clock in the morning i'm going to continue with my green images and then blue and i might add a little bit more because i have four hours and 39 minutes about that remaining at for for my green my blue and i'm doing three minute exposures each and i might add some more luminance or so also i noticed with the autofocuser Images actually, my stars are coming out very sharp and round now. So last year I noticed when I zoomed in on my final picture, I could see a little bit of haze and blurriness. So the stars weren't as round. But so far, um, you can see the galaxy is so bright that even without it, I'm without stretching, you can still see the core right here. So let me just stretch it. I'm gonna do like a, a high stretch. It's gonna be washed out anyway. But you can see the small galaxy here, another one here, and the famous big Andromeda galaxy. And I'm still not using a focal reducer, so the entire galaxy will not really fit on my image, on my frame. But it's just about there. It looks good to me. And I'm going to continue with it like that and see how it all turns out. Uh, it's a little bit windy tonight. It's about 15 mile per hour winds. Gusting about 15, but uh, my guiding is about 9.6, so it's not too bad for the AVX mount. So that mount is still holding down for me. I mean, I've been wanting to get a beefier mount, but I'm going to just keep rolling with this AVX. Uh, rolling roll with it as long as I can. So that's my guiding for right now. And yeah, that's about it. So I'm gonna, I might add a few more frames. Oh, my, um, as far as my settings, I'm using uh, gain and offset settings. It's basically Unity for every frame for luminance, red, green, and blue. And can I see it from here? Yeah, let me see. Um, slide this up a little bit. Yeah, you can see 139 and offset of 21. So that's what I'm using for all my frames. And just gonna go with it and see how it goes. And hopefully I get a decent image this year where I could tweak it and make it look pretty good. And I might actually add some more data to it. Um, if, you know, as long as I get finished all my frames tonight with red, green, and blue, I might just add a few more to run after the sequence completes. You know, go back and add a little bit more luminance and maybe 10 to 15 more of each if I can. I mean, it might be too long because these images, you know, they takes up a lot of time and everything.